The Commonwealth and Roanoke City are honoring a local civil rights leader. City leaders renamed the courthouse after Oliver Hill, an attorney who was involved in the landmark Brown versus the Board of Education decision. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones is live in downtown Roanoke to tell us more about today's ceremony. Arisha? People from Roanoke and some people who also came all the way from Richmond fill the courthouse steps today to honor a man who spent part of his life here in the Star City fighting for justice. Although born in Richmond, Oliver W. Hill started his early law career in Roanoke, and those who crossed his path want to make sure his legacy lives on for future generations. It's quite a, a thrill to see it. The courthouse is now the Oliver W. Hill Justice Center. His son, Oliver Hill Jr., and his family drove from Richmond for this historic day. When we drove up, my mother-in-law started crying because from her generation, it was most of their activities were never acknowledged, you know, and so this acknowledgement of my father's work, I think, had a real strong meaning for her. Hill wants his father to be remembered for his fight against the injustice and equality for all. He contributed to one of the most influential court cases in U.S. history. This fight is still going on. I mean, he was part of the Brown decision, which was 65 years ago, and we still don't have equality in the schools. Hill says the impact of his father's name is more than anyone could imagine. Well, I hope that this is going to inspire another generation of civil rights lawyers. Uh, maybe as people go in and out of this building, they will be inspired to seek justice for all. Oliver Hill was born May 1st, 1907, so the renaming of this courthouse comes on his 112th birthday. Live in Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.